Hi there, Carolyn Peeler with you today in Ellen Hudson's classroom, and I'm going to be walking you through this encouraging card made with the Breast Cancer Research Foundation fundraising stamp set. To get started, I've cut a five and a half by four and a quarter piece of white cardstock, and I've also lined my card elements up, so this ledge paper for the bottom and the little flower accent for the top, but they are not glued down yet. They are simply held in position so that I can discover where exactly I want to put my greeting. So I have put my greeting in place and now I'm going to use the Misty to stamp it. I don't know about you, but I have too many cards from back in the day where I would design the card and then go to stamp the greeting and the greeting did not come out super crisp or clear. One of the letters, the ink didn't apply correctly or whatnot. And so you had this kind of oops mistake on the greeting itself. Stamp positioners are great because you're able to, if that becomes an issue, you're able to re-stamp in exactly the same place, which is impossible almost if you're stamping with a block. So I have stamped this with the Ranger Archival in jet black, and now I'm going to assemble. As you can see, I'd already stamped the little flower accents. Those are from the BCRF stamp set. And then I mounted everything onto Tailored Expression Strawberry Milkshake, and I used pop dots to do that so that the card has a little bit of definition to it, some height differences, and that just creates visual interest because this isn't a super complicated card. It's actually a fairly simple one. So having differences in height of objects just creates a little bit of visual interest so everything isn't completely flat. I also glued the ledger paper down across the bottom of that white cardstock. And then sewed using just my sewing machine and a zigzag line across the bottom. So everything got mounted onto pop dots on the white cardstock and then put onto the pink. And then finally, to finish off, I am using the Wink of Stella in clear and going over the word courage so that it sparkles a little bit. It just has a little bit of shimmer to it. And I'm going to pull it up to the camera a little bit. It's really hard to see on camera, but you definitely can see it in person. And just adds a really nice subtle touch to it. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed today's project and I hope that you pick up this stamp set. It's for a great cause and it has beautiful designs. Thanks so much.